Hi, this is Nathan, and this is Market Maker Thursday, and we are looking inside a house today. It is 1303 West Haven. It's it's on a very, very quiet street because the street really doesn't go anywhere. Um, you're going to see this house has got a really nice lawn in the front and in the back. Beautiful door here. I just It brings a lot of character to the house. Um, in the kitchen, everyone loves the kitchen. The countertops, the backsplash, the colors really mesh well. And also this cool, you see the oven and the countertops. Just a neat space. Here's the living room and now we'll go into the bedroom. This is kind of a tri-level, um, but it doesn't really feel like a tri-level. Big open bathroom here. It's got the shower, tub combo, nice countertop, floors. The other interesting thing, lots of light in this house. Lots of light. Lots of large closets, big bedrooms, and these right there, that's real hardwood floors, folks. Um, there's two bedrooms here on the top. Here's the second bedroom. Like you can see, another double set of closets, big windows, bigger bedroom than what you normally see in a house this size. It's almost 2,100 square feet. Um, so now we'll kind of go into the living room. As you can see, oh, no, oh, I think we're going to go in the basement. Um, so here we're going into the basement. There, there's one bedroom down here. You'll see the bathroom here to the left. Then there's an additional bedroom. So that's the third bedroom. And then there's a fourth room. It's got a fireplace, uh, a beautiful mural on the wall, but e this could easily be turned into a fourth bedroom because that's really popular and liberal. Four bedrooms, three baths. I mean, it's listed for, I think, about 170. This is, this is a nice house for 170 that could have potentially four bedrooms. So you see the other thing in the basement, there's lots of light, lots of big windows. You see even a, a window in the bathroom there. So it's a really cool feel in the basement. It's not dark and musty like uh, you normally think of. So here's the living room, nice size living room with a huge window there behind the, the TV. And that opens into the more formal dining room, which since you have that wonderful place to eat in the kitchen, you could use this other space for an office, for the kids, for really anything you wanted to. As you look around here into the kitchen, again, nice, kind of, you can almost walk into that pantry, um, but nice space there, lots of storage. Now we'll go into the back and you'll see it's got a covered patio here. And like I said, both the front yard and backyard are, are, have sprinklers, nice green grass, um, great for kids, great for sitting out here. Um, got a lot of opportunity to, whether you want to plant trees or a garden or um, really you could do whatever you wanted to back here. Um, like I said, nice neighborhood. There is a shed here for storing your mower and various things. And then there's also this additional door that goes into the garage. Uh, you'll see there's this little room off to the side here. Could be storage, could be, I don't know, that's a neat space, I think. And then the single car garage with the light, because even my garage doesn't have a window in it. So lots of light in this house. And then surprise, here is a third bathroom right off the kitchen, garage, and living space. So great for having company over, um, great for, you know, coming in from work. So that's it, folks. This is a really nice house. Could be four bedrooms, three baths. And remember, there's always three ways I can help you. Watch these videos every week. Go to the, my website and download the Home Buyer's Guide. And you can always call me directly to see any house in Liberal.